Welcome back or welcome if you're new to the channel, another Chromebook for you. This is the Dell 3100 Chromebook. It's an 11.6 inch rugged education focused Chromebook. In this video, I'll take you through all you need to know about this model, what to watch out for with the spec, show you how it handles a bit of gaming and show you some alternate Chromebooks to weigh up against this one. This particular model I have comes with the Intel Celeron N4020 processor, so it runs 64-bit Chrome OS, and it will get updates to Chrome OS until June 2027. The N4020 also means decent enough performance for general use and light gaming, as we'll see later, and this one has 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. Certainly in the UK on the used market, I've noticed a lot more with 16GB of storage. I'd certainly avoid those and stick with a minimum 32GB. If you watch my YouTube Shorts or TikToks, you'll have seen the original unboxing and first impressions video I uploaded a couple of months ago when I received this. I'll link that and any others I mention in the video description down below. I shared on Twitter when I purchased this that it cost just £48, that's about $55, US my cheapest Chromebook yet. But this is a refurb advertised with some wear and tear and without the original charger, but still a bargain in my opinion. For a workaround on the charging, see another video I've linked in the video description of this one. You've seen some of the wear and tear in the preview of the shorts video, but here you can see a bit more in detail. Just on top and on the edges, it was accurate in the advert description and still a complete bargain at this price. There's no marks or damage inside the keyboard deck or on the screen, and that's the key thing you should look out for in any Chromebook advert. This Chromebook is an education model and therefore designed to be rugged too, so I fully expect this started life in the classroom where it took a few of these knocks and a bit of abuse. I can see from the sticker on the bottom that this Chromebook was manufactured in 2020 and checking in Chrome OS I saw it had just 16 battery cycles and was reporting 95% battery health. I'll link a video in the description to show you how you can check your Chromebook's battery health too. Battery life is also excellent, easily getting through a day of light use, one upside to the TN screen that I'll show you in just a bit. Because it's a rugged design, it does carry some extra weight. It's 2.89 pounds, about 1.3 kg, so certainly not the lightest in this class. It could be understood if it had a touchscreen, but this particular model doesn't, although there are some out there that do. It's a plastic build with these rubber bumpers on the side and feels solid and well put together. As shown, this one has obviously proven it can withstand a few knocks. It's got a good selection of ports and connectivity, including dual USB-C and A, as well as a headset jack and a wedge lock slot. I had to check that one, but basically think Kensington lock port. There's no micro SD card slot on this one though, as many Chromebooks of this size do offer. A hub or adapter could be one solution there. I use my USB-C hub to test display out though, and it worked flawlessly. Although the Chromebook screen is HD, it can drive a full HD monitor at 1080p, no issue. More of that hub in the video linked in this video's description if you want to learn more. The speakers are found on the bottom of the Chromebook, as with most Chromebooks of this size. That's not the optimal position, of course, but they do get fairly loud and aren't as bad as some have heard. Here's the outro of one of my other videos. I'll link it in the description. The keyboard is spill resistant, I guess again to survive in the classroom, and the keys are fairly well spaced out and have really nice travel to them. The trackpad, although it's small, is responsive enough and does feel well put together. The screen is the weakest point, it's an HDTN screen rather than IPS, so it's a bit washed out and doesn't have the best viewing angles, but it's perfectly adequate. I did find the Dell screen gets bright enough for indoor usage, but I'm not sure if it matches that claim 200 nits. Just to give an idea on TN versus IPS screens, here it is up against the Lenovo Flex 3i with the N4500 processor. That of course has an IPS touchscreen, just to give you a bit of a flavor for the difference as I say. The camera does make this look worse than it is and although you've seen you can put the screen of the Dell 180 degrees back it's obviously not a convertible as the Lenovo Flex 3i also is. Not to confuse things here though there are some other Dell 3100 models that are convertible so as always with Chromebook shopping check the exact spec and model you're looking at. At the top of the screen you'll find the 720p webcam which is very average as expected. Games like Roblox that I imagine will appeal to the target audience of this 
this Chromebook run just fine, as you can see. Performance in general, like many other Chromebooks I've reviewed with the N4020 processor and 4GB of RAM, is absolutely fine for general use. I'll link my Chromebook gaming playlist in the video description down below so you can see more there on how to connect the PS4 controller and other games. Here's a preview of my recent YouTube short and TikTok video unboxing another Chromebook with a similar spec to the Dell. It's the Lenovo IdeaPad 3i 11.6 inch Chromebook. Think of that as a non-rugged version of this but with the same processor, RAM and TN screen. I'll link to that initial impressions video and you can sub and tick the bell if you want to see the full review when it gets published. The Lenovo feels a bit like a toy next to the Dell in some ways as it's about 50 grams lighter and the glossy plastic on top just feels a bit cheap. You can see though even in this video that the Lenovo screen does appear to be a bit better quality even though they're both TM panels and again they do both look better in person. Let me know in the comments if you own this Dell or if you're thinking about buying and of course any questions you may have. If you like the spec and rugged build quality of this Dell but want the extra functionality of a touchscreen then definitely check out this next video.